Connor Tobin here at the Fire and Progress Show. I'm catching up now with David Greer from Green Eye Technology. David, how's it going? Uh, wonderful. We've got a nice day out here at the Fire and Progress Show. Now, David, we've been hearing about Green Eye Technology over here in North America, the story in Europe. You've come to North America. You're here at the Fire and Progress Show here. Tell us what you're up to. Well, uh, at this point, we're with kind of a new startup company. We're getting the word out on how our spring technology can benefit all of the farmers and commercial applicators in the U.S. So tell us about the technology for, for farmers who haven't heard much about it. Tell us how it works. Okay, so basically what we're doing is using uh, in artificial intelligence uh, on our spray system. Um, so then we mount that on the boom. We have cameras, lights on there, um, so that as we go through the field, the artificial intelligence knows what a corn plant is and knows what a bean plant is. And it uses the cameras to take images. Uh, there's 24 cameras that go across a 120 foot boom. And they take 5,000 images a second as they're crossing the field. And then our computer with the artificial intelligence in it will analyze that data. Uh, we're using like a 10 by 10 inch grid. If there's a weed in that spot, then it'll turn on our spot spray and spray that weed. Um, so with that in mind, we did a study with the University of Nebraska. Um, so our technology has the same kill ratio as broadleaf or as broadcast spraying on broadleaf weeds, and we're using only 12% of the chemical that you, they use on the otherwise. Right. And now this is the the commercially available um, machine that you have available right now. Right. Uh, we do have a commercially available. It's a retrofit boom system that you put on any self-propelled sprayer. Uh, we can retrofit it, make it work. And then, so we actually have two wet booms on here. So you're putting down your pre-emergence to kill your weeds that haven't come up yet. And then on the second wet boom is where we have our system that spot sprays, and those nozzle bodies are spaced every 10 inches going across the boom. So David, you've been testing this and working with farmers on corn and soybeans in the US. It's 2022, where do you go from here? So the next thing that we have on the list is we're going to be getting cotton ready uh, to put in the system. Uh, they use, they do a lot of passes in cotton. So we're going to get that initialized. And what we have to do is go out and take many, many pictures of cotton from the time it comes out of the ground and grows. So we take drone images of that so that our computer knows what that is. Uh, and then we need to do that with Milo and all the other crops that we want to be able to use our sprayer into next. Yeah. And now up in Canada, grow a lot of canola, grow a lot of wheat. Where are we on, the, say, the development or timeline for, for make crossing the border? Well, that, it's just like everything else. It all takes time, so that's going to be in the works here shortly. Um, so we want to get that done so we can move into those markets and we got to build up our tech support before we actually move our, our systems into Canada. Obviously, uh, we'd like to say we're not going to have a problem, but you still got to have the support in case somebody hits a telephone pole or something and breaks something off. Final question, David, and that is, uh, you know, research and development. What's in the pipeline? I mean, I hear talk of uh, micronutrients, fungicides. What might Green Eye be doing in five years? So R&D is, is investigating a lot of this and doing research into it. Um, none of it is finalized yet, but uh, compared to what we have with the spring, which is amazing technology. Uh, I think when they have the new stuff done, it, it will make this look fairly simple. It's, it's never ending on what they can do with the artificial intelligence that's already designed into the system. Well, David, hey, great stuff. Uh, thank you for making some time for Real Agriculture. Thank you. Appreciate uh, you talking with me.